Manchester United are preparing to say goodbye to Aaron Juan Bissaka this summer and have even printed a farewell t-shirt as a parting gift. The Sun reports that, although he has another year left on his contract, Juan Bissaka is being ushered out the door in the summer transfer window. The right back, who arrived for 45 millions of pounds from Crystal Palace in 2019, has fallen behind Diogo Dalo in the pecking order. United still believe they can fetch 20 millions of pounds for the 26-year-old, who will follow Rafael Varane and Anthony Marshall in leaving. They have printed a t-shirt with an image of him lifting the Carabao Cup last year on it as a parting gift. Meanwhile, Bayern Munich want to sign Bruno Fernandes, and they believe a deal is there to be done for the Manchester United captain. The Independent has outlined that Fernandez has grown frustrated at Old Trafford and wants to win trophies, something that Bayern could offer. And it's also claimed that United may well be open to selling given their need to sell players in order to meet the Premier League's profit and sustainability rules. But, Bruno Fernandez is not pushing to leave Manchester United, TalkSport understands. Fernandez is the latest big-name target for the Saudi Pro League. This becomes after Rafael Varane announced that he will leave Man United in the upcoming summer transfer window. But United have been given no indication their captain is unhappy at Old Trafford and is not one of the players they are actively looking to offload. The prospect of missing out on Europe next season is not thought to be a deterrent for the Manchester United skipper, who still has two years remaining on his existing deal. Reports on Monday suggested that Fernandez was eyeing a new challenge away from the club, with a move to Saudi Arabia mooted. Fernandez has been one of the club's few shining lights in a somewhat forgettable campaign. The midfielder has netted 15 times in 45 appearances across all competitions this season, but has missed United's last two fixtures through injury. Fernandez is battling to be fit for Wednesday's visit of Newcastle United, with Eric Ten Hag's side locked in the fight for European qualification. The Red Devils are three points adrift of Newcastle and Chelsea, and a win over Eddie Howe's side would put United in a strong position to claim a European spot in the final game of the season at Brighton. If their attempts of qualifying through the league fall flat, United can secure a Europa League place by beating Manchester City in the FA Cup final on May 25th. Fernandes, who is roundly viewed as one of Manchester United's best signings of the modern era, will be key to the club's hopes of avenging last year's cup final disappointment. The Portuguese joined the club from Sporting Club in January 2020 in a deal worth 55 millions of pounds. He has gone on to score 79 goals while registering 62 assists in 230 games. The 29-year-old penned a new deal in 2022, which runs until 2026, with an option of a further year. Fernandez has not always had universal approval from the Manchester United fan base during his time at the club, with some supporters openly critical of the star's form. However, Manchester United legend Rio Ferdinand has given his backing to the Portuguese and pointed to Sunday's defeat to Arsenal without the injured Fernandes as to why the midfielder plays such a key role. Without Fernandes in our team, we don't create noise, let alone chances, he told his Vibe with Five podcast. Trust me. So all these people who keep saying, yeah, but he's not this, he's not that. The guy creates chances, he scores goals, but more importantly, he creates chances for others and makes other players look better. On the other side, he we first two key player signings of Ineos at Manchester United during this upcoming summer transfer window. So, Manchester United are reportedly planning to submit a bid worth 55 millions of pounds for Everton centre-back Jared Branthwaite. Branthwaite is a prime target for Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos in their efforts to bolster the Red Devils' defensive department. This season, United have had to deal with several of their key defenders, missing many games due to physical setbacks. In fact, Diogo Dalot is the only defender on the club's payroll not to have failed to feature in a match due to an injury. United's need for reinforcements in central defense has been made more urgent following Rafael Varane's confirmation on Tuesday that he's set to leave the club at the end of the season. Varane is likely to be followed out of the door by Johnny Evans, whose terms are also expiring in the next few weeks. There are also question marks over the future of Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof. It's believed offers for both could be accepted if they were enticing enough.
A recent report covered by the People's Person relayed that Everton are eager to keep Branthwaite even as United circle around him. The Toffees would rather let Amadou Onana, also on United's radar, go before they part ways with Branthwaite. However, it's believed that Branthwaite himself is open to a move elsewhere and is even pushing for an exit from Goodison Park. If this happens, Sean Dyche's side are interested in Carrington Academy graduate Tieden Mengi as a replacement for him. The Daily Mail reports that United are ready and prepared to offer Everton 55 millions of pounds for their 21-year-old defender. The Merseyside club's desire to retain the England international services is weakened by their desperate need for money amidst their difficult takeover process and the need to comply with the Premier League's profit and sustainability rules, PSR. Director of Football Kevin Thelwell also warned that Everton may ultimately be forced to sell some of their prized assets in the team to protect the long-term stability of the club. A problem for United is that their imminent bid falls significantly short of Everton's 80 millions of pounds valuation of Branthwaite. The Mail add, United have identified Branthwaite as a player who fits their profiling going forward. Young, homegrown, and left-sided. Branthwaite has made 34 top-flight appearances this term. He has helped Everton keep 12 clean sheets in that time and has registered three goals in the process. On the other side, OGC Nice Star and reported Manchester United defensive target Jean-Claer Todibo has admitted that a move in the summer is now almost inevitable as he laid out his preferred destinations. Todibo has been strongly linked to United as far back as last summer, although a transfer never got over the line. A switch from France to Old Trafford was dependent on Harry Maguire joining West Ham, and when that collapsed, so did a deal for Tadebo. However, United have maintained their interest in the player, and with the centre-back position now an area of the pitch Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos are eager to bolster, Tadebo is firmly back on the Red Devils' radar. After Rafael Varane's Tuesday confirmation that he will be leaving at the end of the season. So, a recent report covered by the People's Person relayed that despite United's connection to OGC Nice as a result of Ratcliffe's ownership of the League One outfit, the 20 time English champions are still unsure about how much they want to pay for Todibo. Meanwhile, the player opened up about his future in a press conference ahead of Nice's game against Paris Saint Germain and explained that his mind is already on potential next transfer destinations. When asked how he feels ahead of what could be his last match for Nice, the United target said, I don't approach it as though it is definitely my final match for Nice at the Allianz Riviera. It is potentially my final match, but I don't know what the future has in store for me. I don't know where I will go. He was asked about his criteria for which club he intends to line up for next. He responded, I want to win titles and play in the best European competitions. Those are my objectives. I'd also like to go to a club that will allow me to become better, to allow me to progress on an individual level. That's what interests me. I am open to joining any league honestly. I watch more or less every league and each one could appeal to me. I'm not fixated in terms of what league to join. Could I flourish in the Premier League? Yeah, I think so and I think I could flourish in any league. It couldn't be any clearer for United that the 24-year-old is eager to be added to the ranks at Old Trafford. It's up to Ten Hag's side to ensure they're not beaten to his signature by other interested parties like AC Milan.